Don't let the lack of bodywork fool you. This is a 2007 Suzuki Bandit 1250, and today we're going to install a Super Brace Fork Stabilizer to improve the ride and handling of this iconic motorcycle. Before we start, make sure you have the correct super brace for your year and make and model of motorcycle. Your bike should be upright with the wheel facing perfectly forward. Now you can use a center stand if you have one. If not, you can place a piece of wood underneath the kickstand. Use a 12 millimeter socket to loosen the axle pinch bolts at the bottom of the fork, but don't remove them. The plastic fork tube protectors must be removed to install the super brace. Using a wooden dowel and a rubber mallet, you can strike upward from the bottom of the fork protector, just under the lip, and it will release from the groove. You can then remove it with your hand. Later, these plastic protectors will be cut off using uh, some tin snips, but I like to leave them in place until we get the super brace fitted and make sure it fits properly. Use a soft cloth to clean around the fork tube lower and upper areas. Go ahead and disassemble the super brace by removing the four 5mm hex bolts. With the bolts removed, the super brace will separate into two halves. The front half is the portion with the fork protectors in place. Now we're ready to install the super brace. Go ahead and start with the front half and position it so that the top of the super brace lines up with the top of the lower fork tube. Go ahead and position the back half of the super brace to line up with the front half and install the four 5mm hex bolts. Using a torque wrench, tighten all four of these bolts to 10 foot pounds. You can now use a pair of tin snips to carefully cut off the old fork protectors. It is very important that you retighten and torque your axle pinch bolts to the factory torque specs for your motorcycle. Before you ride, make sure that none of your cables or hoses are in a bind and that everything has good clearance. 